This is the second video in a series of videos on solving trig equations. In the following, we are going to look at solving quadratic equations. Let's look at a simple example. Let's say we would like to solve cos squared theta minus 2 cos theta plus 1 equals 0. Now, if you're comfortable with your algebra, you should be able to see that this is the same as cos theta minus 1 also equals 0. Therefore, cos theta equals 1. Now, we haven't been given a domain, so I will assume that the domain is between 0 and 2 pi. Unless they have given you the domain or have told you to give the answer, in its general form, we can make the assumption that we are dealing with a domain of 0 to 2 pi. Now I know when cos is equal to 1, it's equal to 1 at 0 and 2 pi. So that was a nice, easy, straightforward word solution. Let's look at something slightly more challenging. Let's say we want to solve sine squared x minus sine x sine x cos x equals zero all right again i'm going to apply some of my algebraic knowledge by factorizing that leaves me with sine x minus cos x in the bracket and now I'm solving this equation. Either we will have sine x equaling 0 or sine x minus cos x equaling 0. So sine x equaling 0, well, I know the solution to that. Sine is 0 at 0 and again at pi. And of course, it's 0 at 2 pi as well. Now, in this case, I can rearrange sine x equals cos x, divide both sides by cos, and I end up with sine x over cos x equaling 1. Notice cos x cannot equal to 0, um, because then we wouldn't be able to divide both sides by um, cos. So we need to make sure we take that into consideration. So when is tan equal to 1? Well, I know tan is equal to 1 at pi on 4 and 5 pi on 4. That's all stations to central, first and third quadrant. Third quadrant resulted in 5 pi on 4. Therefore, x is equal to 0 pi on 4 pi, 5 pi on 4, and 2 pi, if 2 pi is within our domain. A common mistake made by students is right at the beginning, they think, oh, I can go and simplify this by dividing everything by sine x. What would happen in that case is you will lose this part of your solution. That would result in sine x minus cos x equaling to 0, which is only the second part. And you have to make sure you don't eliminate one of your solutions by dividing everything by one of the functions.